Hey Groovers, how are we going? So, on the walk I just suggested that we're going to do a 500 challenge. Something that just came to me today, so I thought, what a great way then to spend the weekend and challenge ourselves to complete 500 movements throughout the whole weekend. So, what we've got set up behind me is we have two barbells. I'm going to do deadlifts on one and shoulder press on the other. And the shoulder press can be with a... Um, uh, with you can be kneeling on the ground with a band and using a band above your head. You guys have seen me do that in workouts. It could be dumbbells, shoulder press above our head. It can be, um, I wonder if I've got, uh, it can be, uh, or a barbell, or it can be cans, or it can just be rubber bands, whatever you feel best with. Deadlifts can be with dumbbells held at shoulder width, standing up, squeeze the bum nice and tight. So this movement here, Chest up, shoulders back, squeeze, stand up, bum tight. Can be done with bands, can be done with dumbbells, can be done with barbells. I'm going to do it with barbells. Push-ups can be done, toes, knees, narrow, wide, whatever you want to do to complete the, five, the 100 of each exercise. And then with abs, you can be doing crunches, reverse crunches. You can be doing a plank for 30 seconds. Each 30 seconds is one count. Um, you can be doing, oh, what else can we be doing? You can be doing Russian twists, whatever ab exercise you like, you go for it. You can be doing mountain climbers. Each That would be a fast way of getting through the 100. Um, and then we are squats as well. So squats, you can change from doing them as a neutral squat. You can be doing a body weight squat. You can be doing a wide squat. You can be doing a super narrow squat, whichever one you feel like breaking it up with to get through your 100. Do it all at once or do it today. To, we might get through 50 today and then get on to um, 50 of each and then do the other half tomorrow. Who knows? Do what you want, but it's a challenge for the weekend and I'd love to see you guys some sort of a form of a finisher. Show us a photo. So, are we ready guys? Ready, yeah. Ready. Choose a spot. We're just going to break it down into 10 on each station. So, 10 on each activity um, and see it through like that. Let me bring you guys just a little bit closer. All right, any questions, guys? Shoot them at will. I'm going to start off with deadlifts. Ready? And go for it. Shoot, good work, Kitty Bar. to do your push-ups is fine. One, two, three, four, who's watching? Five, six, give us a wave, give us some encouragement, we're going for the 500. And 10. Nice, I'm on to abs. Nice, get me fella. All right, I'm gonna go beast it up. One, Two. Chest up, shoulders back. Nice, that's better, that's better. Yo. Good job, guys. Oh, look at this partner work going here, guys. Partner work. Oh, no. Oh. Mummy was holding his feet. Go one more, show us how you do it. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Yay, good job. Get the kids involved in the 500, guys. Give them something to do. I love what 
watching children do this sort of stuff. Alright. I'm going to do Russian twist this time, then I'm going to do push ups. So, feet off the ground, hands up, and I'm going to tap side to side, keeping everything nice and balanced. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This time I'm going to do super wide push ups. Who's watching, guys? Who's watching? Give the guys some encouragement. We're going for the 500 today. We may only get five rounds through, so we're breaking it up into ten reps of each exercise. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah. There we go. Now bring your chest to the ground. Yeah. Now push that up. Do it again. Do that again. That's it, go again. That's perfect. You can worm it, that's absolutely fine. Good job, Bella. Breathe those sideways back. <laughs> nice. Crips doing the worm push up. Excellent work. Back to the start, mate. So good. Push up, drive through the glutes, Cal. Nice. Squeeze the wee muscles in tight, guys, with the deadlift. Tight through here and drive it up. Squeeze. I'm into squats. Actually, creeps, jump on my back. You can do squats with me on your back. You on my back. Jump on. Ready? Set. One. <laughs> Two. Three. He's doing squats. <laughs> here, put your hands on the mat, like this, okay, then we go this one, and then that one, and then change, step up, step up, that's it, that's it, keep it going, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Finding easy? What are you finding hard? What, what number are you getting up to? Are you going to be able to do them all at once? Or are you going to break it down? Do some today, some tomorrow? are cranking on. I'm going to do some sit-ups with some crisscross punches. So push ups, so bring them in. Push ups nice and close, hands nice and close to your sides. And uh, keep those elbows tucked in for this one. Those who are tuning in, we're doing the 500 challenge I've set for everybody over the weekend. Five exercises, one of 100 of each exercise to be completed. Out of the way, out of the way, go. <laughs> Get out of the way. So it's push ups, 100 push ups. You can do them whichever way you feel like. You can change it up. We're breaking it down into 10 of each one. Talia, hello darling. So the moment we're doing the deadlifts, the push-ups, the squats, the shoulder presses, and whichever core exercise you wish, I've broken it down to five rep, five sets of 10 for today. So I think we're going to have to get dinner on in a second. Nine and 10. Good job, good job. Get the whole family involved. The aim of this one is over the weekend is complete 500 in total, 100 of each of the five exercises. We just set up a circuit and you just go around, do 10 on each one. Maybe you want to do 15, maybe you want to do five, whatever it is, but over the entire weekend, getting to 500 in total. That's it, much better. That's it. Yeah. No, 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 be out for it. That's it. Down. Ladies like a frog. Um, Alright, I'm into deadlifts. Yep, so. I'm going to go wide again. Oh my 
So for those, those who follow along the uh, health type game, Kelsey is actually a sensor, and I believe that Katie is actually a little activator, and I believe Cooper is potentially a connector. So very interesting dynamics when we see these guys playing in the way they interact, the way they talk, um, the, the connection they need, the language they need. It's really, really cool. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do some reverse crunches just like Kelsey. Yeah. 10 more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Rolling over the push ups. Oh, mother daughter sit ups. I love that. Love that. Who loves mother daughter sit ups? Talia, I'd love to see you guys doing this. Push ups. You know, wide push ups again. Chest to touch the ground every time. Nine. Ten. That's 50 of those. trying to do the worm and they're super arching like Katie is here just come up behind them and just lift underneath the hip bones same with a training partner like someone like Kelsey I'd get in behind Kelsey and Talia's ringing me I'd get in behind someone like Kelsey and just hold underneath if you don't want to put your hand underneath someone's hips you can actually put a towel across here across their main part and stand above them and just use your strength to help lift their bum back up so that we're not getting any push-ups that are done in this position or with their bum up too high. Get them to really make sure that when you're doing a push-up, you really are in. So this can sometimes happen. People will do this kind of a push-up and they're just using their shoulders. What we really want is to bring your bum forward and come down, chest touch the ground and come back up. So you can see if someone's having trouble with that, Sticking a, a brace underneath here can really help to lift them up and down. It makes it a really good partner exercise, ensuring that they're doing the full depth and back up again. And we're really focusing on with push-ups is um really focusing on. So a lot of people will do a push-up and they'll do it. Hang on one second. They'll do um. Oh, see what I'm trying to do it. Katie, have a way. <laughs> so they'll do these sorts of ones. And this is a type of push-up, but it's really a shoulder push-up. You really want it to be bum straight, straight, as if there's a broom going from your shoulder blades all the way down your back to your glutes. And from here, you want to be taking the chest, touching it to the ground, and coming back up again in as much as a rigid board as you can. That's why having a partner to help with a towel potentially below the hip, or just a hand on either part of the hip here to help you lift that part. Whew. I've got phone calls coming out the wires, you guys. Everyone's trying to ring me at once. Um, so yeah, give it a go. We just got 50 done of each one. So 50 squats, 50 deadlifts, 50 shoulder presses. As you can see, I'm nice and vascular right now. Love that feeling. Glutes are on fire. How's that feeling, guys? 
Så so good! Woohoo! You going for 60, are you? Last one. Nice. Give that a go, guys. Maybe give us a photo. Maybe give us a video. Maybe give us a, a family selfie or a household selfie of you guys doing the 500. Like I said, break it down. We got back from the walk a bit late. So we decided we would do 50 of each today and we'll do the other 50 tomorrow. Have a great guys night. Uh, have a great guys night. Have a night. Great guys. You know what I'm trying to say. Have fun, guys. Love you to pieces. Give it a go. Let us see your efforts. And um, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Happy Saturday.